Hi guys, it's Miss M back with another video. We are continuing our lessons on our multiplication strategies review. Monday we did area model, yesterday was partial product, and now we're getting into the math that a lot of you really liked in the classroom and the math that your parents and I and your grandparents learned, which was standard algorithm. Remember, in standard algorithm, we're just gonna have one answer in a line. We're not gonna have anything else, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write down the problem. Remember, in standard algorithm, we are gonna be carrying and adding things. So you wanna give yourself enough space, which is why we do it this way, lining it up vertically. Remember, in standard algorithm, we essentially just do what we were kind of doing with partial products, except we're not putting all the products down. We're just putting part of it down, a little itty bitty part. But the method is pretty much the same where we're going up and then across and then across. So <laughs> I'm gonna go up the ones. So five times six, which is 30. I'm gonna put down the zero and I'm gonna add and carry and borrow the three above the three in the tens place. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this five and I'm going across to the tens place. So it's no longer five times three, it's really five times 30, which I know is 150. Now I'm gonna add three more to 150 and I'm gonna know it's gonna be 180. So I'm gonna put that eight down and I'm gonna carry that one. Now I can cross off this three because I already used it. And if it's a way that's gonna distract you and get you confused on how you got things, just cross it off. It's not a problem. Now we're gonna go across to the hundreds place. So five times 700. Well, I know that five times seven is gonna give me 35 and I'm in the hundreds place. So I'm gonna tack on two additional zeros to get 3,500. But if you can't do that and you don't understand it in your head, please go ahead and off to the side, just write it out and do it and solve it like this. There's no shame to this because if you can't see it in your head and I don't want you guessing and getting a wrong number. So go ahead and solve it. Go up the ones, go across to the tens, go across. So I was right. So five times 700 is 33,500 plus an additional one which is gonna give me 36. And all together, it's gonna be 3,680. So the product of five times 736 is gonna be 3,680. Remember, in standard algorithm, we go up, across, and across, and across, and we just put down the numbers as we go along. We are not gonna have multiple numbers down here. It's one straight across when we're dealing with multi-digit by one digit. Now, yes, when we get into double digit, we'll have a second row down here, an additional, an additional row when we start adding things together. But we'll worry about that once we get closer to all the double digit stuff. So let's keep practicing. Okay. So the next problem that we are gonna do is four times 2,345. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite it. So that way I have room. If I need to carry over and do some math, I'm gonna have all the room I need for it. So same thing, if you need to draw these arrows, go for it. So five, four times five is 20. I'm gonna put that zero down and I'm gonna carry that two to the next place value. Now I'm gonna go across to the tens. So four times 40, I know four times four is 16. Put on, tack on that additional zero, so it's gonna be 160, plus the additional two is gonna give me 180. I'm gonna write down that eight down, and I'm gonna carry that one. Go ahead and cross off that two if you may get confused. So now I'm going to go across to the hundreds place. So four times 300. Well, I know that four times three is 12 and I'm in the hundreds place so I can tack on two zeros. But just to be safe, because I wanna make sure that I'm doing it correctly because we know what can happen 
our mind tells us one thing and we get and we go with it and we get it wrong so just to be safer than safe and so, than sorry just do the math so i was in my mind i was correct that 300 times 4 is going to be 1200 or 1200 but i have this additional one right here that i need to add to it so it's really going to be 13 thousand and I'm gonna go ahead cross off that zero and I'm finally gonna move to the thousands place four times two thousand I don't need to make sure I know how to do that off to the side I know that four times two thousand is eight thousand plus my additional one is gonna give me nine thousand so all together the product of four times 2,345 is 9,380. Okay, I'm using different colors so that way you guys can see the steps that go into the standard algorithm. You go up the ones, you go across to the tens, go across to the hundreds, go across to the thousands. You keep going across until you cannot go any further. Okay, it's also really important that you guys know your multiplication facts because you don't want to write down the wrong number and get the problem wrong so we're going to do one more before moving on to that double digit so i have seven times six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine i'm going to go ahead and rewrite it just like so and let's start. So seven times nine is 63. I'm gonna put down that three and I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add that six right above that eight. Now I'm gonna go across to the tens again. Seven times 80. Well, I know seven times eight is 56. So I'm gonna tack on a zero. So it's really gonna be 560. Plus an additional, additional six. So <coughs> that's 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So it's gonna be 662. So I'm gonna put down my two and I'm gonna carry another six above the seven. Cross off that six if needed that you just added. Now I'm gonna go across and multiply seven by 700. Well, I know that seven times seven is 49, okay? So if I tack on two additional zeros, it's gonna be 4,900, but I need to add this six. So it's gonna be 50, 51, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be 54, <coughs> um, oh my goodness, 5,400 altogether. So I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna put this five down and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to carry and add another five I'm going to cross that five out and then I'm going to go across I'm going to use a different color and I'm going to go across and I know that seven times six thousand is going to give me forty two thousand plus an additional five which is gonna give me 47,523. Okay, let me use this in a different color. All right, you know, you have, I know it may seem like a lot, and if you have to use the sides of your paper, scrap paper to do this, please do it to make sure. I know some of us are still unsure with our seven times tables. You guys gotta really, really, really practice and memorize them, especially with numbers that are more than what we've been practicing with this eights and the nines and the sixes and all of that. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna do some double digit by double digit multiplication. So I'm gonna just write it out right here. 63 times 21. All right, take a deep breath. And I know it may seem like a lot of steps because it is a lot of steps, but it's not too terrible, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna move my board up just a little bit so we can see. Go up the once, but before that, underline. I suggest you all do this underline that one's value, place value because you are starting there 
and eventually we will move over to the tens, but for right now we are writing the ones. So one times three is three. Go across to the tens. So one times 60 is going to give me 60. Oh, use the same color. It's gonna give me 60. All right, and this is the most important step. You're putting down a placeholder, whether that's a zero or this star. Remember, this star means zero. Okay, I'm going to take this line and I'm going to move it and I'm going to underline this two now because this two we are moving. We went from the ones place value, now we're in the ten. So now we are going to be multiplying everything by 20. So 20 times three, because I'm going to go across. 20 times 3 is 60. I'm going to put down my 6. Okay. Now I'm going to go up the 10. So 20 times 60 is going to give me, well, 20, 2 times 6 is 12. And then I have a two additional zeros to tack on. But I don't need to tack on any additional zeros because the ones in the tens place values are already taken. So all I get to do is just write down the 12. The, 12, which is really 1,260. Now the next step is that we are gonna add everybody together. Remember, this is a zero. So three plus zero is three. Six plus six is 12. Carry that one. Okay, two plus one is three, and one's by himself. So 63 times 21 is gonna give me a product of 1,323. Now, if we need to do the steps, let's talk about the steps. Your step one is to multiply the ones. So we're going up the ones, and you're gonna write down whatever the product is. Okay, step two, is to multiply the tens. And I'm gonna put in parentheses, we're in the ones place value. So that means that you're here, we're going across to the tens, and you're multiplying whatever number is in the ones by that number that's in the tens. Number three, this is the most important step. I'm gonna put some stars next to it. You're gonna put your place value holder. This is important because we are now moving from the ones place value and we're gonna be multiplying by the tens. So we went from the ones, multiplied that by three, multiplied it by 60. Now we put down this place holder right here and now we're now multiplying everything by 20. We're in the tens place now. So step four, we're gonna go across to multiply by the ones. So we're going from this spot in the tens and we're gonna go across and multiply. And five, and one next step, step five. Remember, there's six steps all together. You're gonna multiply up the tens. So we're multiplying the tens. Okay. So we're here. We're gonna do twenty times sixty. And finally, 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 step six. You add it all together. Okay, so I know it seems like it's a lot of steps. I'll give you a second to go ahead and copy this down or pause the video before we move on to the next problem. So let's talk about it. I am here. I'm in the ones place. So one times three is three. Now I'm going across. One times 60 is 60. Put my placeholder down. Now I'm now talking about the two tens place, this two. 20 times 3 is 60. Put that 6 down. 20 times 60 is really 12, uh, 1,200 or 1,200. I'm going to put that two, the, the 12 down and so it could say 1,260. 
Then step six, add everybody together. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on to one more problem. One more, guys. I know this may seem like a long video. Bear with me. Just a lot of reminders and review. So let's do 72 times 35. So remember those steps. I'm right here. So step one, go up the ones. So five times two is 10. I'm gonna put that zero down and I'm gonna carry that one. Now I'm going across to the tens. So five times 70, I know is 350 plus an additional one. So I'm going to get 360. I'm gonna cross that off because I don't need it anymore because I might need it for when I multiply 30 times 70, so I don't wanna get myself confused. I'm gonna put my placeholder down and I'm gonna keep going. So I'm now moving over from the five in the ones place to the three in the tens, which is now 30. So I'm gonna multiply 30 times two, which is 60. I'm gonna put that six down and now I'm gonna multiply 30 times 70 which I know is 2,100. So I'm gonna, oops, using the wrong marker, gotta make sure I'm using the same marker. Which all together, this row will say 2,160. Now I get to add everybody together. Zero plus zero is zero. Six plus six is 12. I'm gonna carry that one. Three plus one is four, plus an additional one is five. And two comes down by himself. So 72 times 35 is going to give me a total of a product total of 2,520. Rewatch the video a couple times if you need a reminder. Please reach out to me. But until the next video, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.